there we go that is the end of day three we have the engine out we've cleaned it and i'm starting to give the outside a bit of a clean it's not looking too bad you know it's um the back seat that was in there isn't the same material so i need to find a brown towelette back seat um i found all the documents so we've got a set of documents for it in the car which is cool so we've got all the We've got all the owner's manuals, all the original documentation with the car. Look at that. The original, everything. We've got all the insurance and service history, the original owners. So we've got the complete documentation, um, which is lush. Um, so yeah, just loving the sort of Austin Montego vibes to the interior. And the seats are lush. I'll give it a hoover tomorrow. We'll clean the boots. I don't want to do too much. But yes, yeah, this back seat we're looking for. It's in this sort of toweling. It does feel like you want to just dry yourself after a bath. But I guess it'll be absorbent. I'll put a cover on that one. Um, so it is looking all right. We've got... There we go. And this chassis. I mean, look at the... Let me just show you something. So the headlights haven't got any corrosion on them. Everything here, so all the front, look at that, that's all come up. I mean, look at the front axle on there. Look, the paint is still new, it's still got some colour coding. Look at the chassis. It's mint. It's unbelievable. It is, you know, you've still got all the marks on there from where they've assembled it. And check that everything's together, right? Almost oh, a bit overexposed, that side. Now there's a little bit of corrosion in the corner there, look. Uh, so I need a new battery tray. But everything else... It is unbelievable. So, we are quite happy with our little Range Rover. <laughs> oh, so's the dog. Right, can I get all the labels, look? Everything. It's all complete. Chassis number, parts, spot. So, there we go. We've got a bird come to our person. You alright, mate? He's chilling on my dustpan. He's having a little moment. Loving just seeing what's going on. Uh, we've got the engine that we've got some engine cleaner and a little foam now. Uh, we'll just give it the engine now. Let's have a look round at some. So we can see it out of the bar now. That's Pascal, my neighbour, helping me. So, there you go. So this is straight from the... So it's got all the original stickers on. And it's actually got the original fire. If you look here, you can see the original fire brigade sticker there. So I think it says Le Pompier, which is the fire brigade. There we go, there she is. So there he is, he has laid up there, we put him all back to sleep, um, put the bonnet back on, no engine, we're going to go back to the UK now, and we'll have a look at that other engine, get that other engine out, clean it up, I think I'll take the heads off, but there we go, so we are going to leave France for now, there we go, come on Stig, let's go home. Right, we're back in the UK, back in the workshop, so we've got the Nissan, got the engine crane, um, this come up all right after that pressure wash we did before we went away so we've got to work out i think we'll have these cylinder heads off why not be good fun we'll take the clutch off there was a lot of oil in this bell house in here before i washed it so i think we'll do a, a rear oil seal we'll have a look at the clutch we've got a new clutch kit anyway and we'll have a look if this viscous fan coupling is a bit wobbly but let's have a look round. apparently i've got to look at the engine number if any of you um so they did a 2.5 vm engine and a 2.4 and apparently a couple of people are trying to help me but apparently the vacuum pump which is this bit just here apparently this is different on the 2.4 to the 2.5 i haven't worked that out yet um and the engine number is 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 well, there's the actual engine number there, look. And then their casting number is along in there, behind there. So let me get this off here. 
Get this off with my engine crane. Working alone tonight, staying on. Let's get this off and have a look. Oh, look what we just got come in the post. I haven't even seen it yet. A tub of margarine. I don't know. I don't think there is. Dinky Range Rover Fire Chief. Oh, that was its pot it was living in. So this is a Dinky Fire Chief's car. 195 die cast metal. Look at that, it's got most of its original box. We're not that worried about the box, are we, Kate? No. Check that out. That is our car. That's our three door fire. Now, it's got the earlier grill, so I think it's a little bit earlier than mine. But look, he's even left hand drive. Look, they've even done it French style for me. Look. Look at that. That's my new little. I have to put that pride of place somewhere. Look, Shh, opening doors. He's got the blue beacon on the top. So there we go. Imagine, they actually got the dinky door, <coughs> like a three door Range Rover. Right, we've managed to get 10 minutes. So I'm starting to dismantle the engine that I got off Grant in Huddersfield. So we've just taken the viscous fan off. I'm gonna take the front belts off. I'm gonna take the power steering pump off. I'm gonna take the inlet manifolds off. I'm gonna take the turbo off. And then we're gonna take the heads off. And we're gonna have a look what it's like. We've got some goodies come. What has just come for me? Keeps us bought some goodies for me. We have got some new gaskets here. We have got our new composite head gaskets. So we are gonna have a look, take the heads off um, and see what it's like. So I'll get on, strip it down. I'll come back and join you when I'm taking the heads off and we'll have a look together what's inside the heads, what horrors are greeting us. Right, we're here in the morning. Right, we are gonna take the cylinder heads off. So I've got it all loosened last night. Now I've taken these bolts off. I don't think I needed to take these nuts, sorry, these nuts here, but we're gonna take the rocker gear off first and we'll clean it all up. So I've laid some bits of card out here where I'm gonna put all the push rods and rockers and heads. So let's take number one rocker off first. Bam, bam, bam. Put it in there, look at me all neat and tidy. Two, two, three. Four, now, whoa! So I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the, this is the VM diesel, and this was originally used in boats, and it had a good reputation in boats, so Land Rover, Range Rover, I thought that'd be a good idea, we'll use it in Range Rovers. Now, some people, you'll see from the comments on the other two videos, it's quite a debate, some people are saying, so I'm gonna put a 200 TDI, put a 300 TDI, put a TD5 in it. I think I'm gonna try and keep it original, if I can. And there's some people that have written, there's lots of people who speak bad of this VM engine, but people who've actually had them don't reckon they're too bad. And the guy that drove our railway was done 239,000 kilometers in it, which would be tricky to do if it drove like an absolute pig. But there we go, right, so we've got that. All right, so now we're gonna take out the push rods. So, there we go. Now, have they got? They have got tappets of sorts in them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, I've made a special thing in there. I'm going to keep those in there. One, two. Right, we have been doing, as I'm doing this, we've been doing some research on the, on the fire station that this came from. Now here's a random fact. We've got a family friend, Jack, staying with us at the moment. Now Jack's French. And I think I'm allowed to say this. I'll check, he doesn't mind. But his granddad, was actually the boss man, number one, at Land Rover in the 80s when this engine slash our Range Rover was made. That's weird, isn't it? Hello, Jack. So Jack speaks French, because he is French, and he has been looking up for me, and he's gonna write to the fire station for me and see if they've got any pictures of our Range Rover back in the day, which would be cool. It's a massive fire station. We were looking at it on the internet last night. I'll put a picture of it up. It's like a massive block of flats with a fire station underneath. It's a proper job. Bonjour to all the pompiers out there. Do you know pompiers, Kate? No. French for fireman. Oh. Uh, learn something new every day. Right, here we go. This is the exciting bit. So is this, has Grant stitched this up or is he? Right, so this should just lift off now. I'll have a head gasket. Right, big reveal. So how's that look, Kate? We got an, oh no, there's a crack. 
Can you see that? Let me get under the light. Now we've got some spares. Can you see that crack going across there, Kate? Yep. Between the two. It doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. So we've got one cracked cylinder here. That's not good. Oh no. Anyway, good job I took the cylinder heads off. Number two. Oh no! Another one. Another cracked cylinder head. I got two cracked. Ah, maybe that 200 TDI is looking like a better conversion after all. Oh no! I'm not sure how many good heads I got. Here we go, here we go. Is it good or bad? It's Kate? good. It's good! Way. So we've got, oh, we've got a good one. All right then, are we going to make one engine out of two? He's cracked. He's cracked. I've got three cracked heads. Oh, the plot thickens. Maybe these VM engines are a pile of poop. Maybe I spoke too early, Kate. Um, all right, let's have a look if we can see what the bores look like. We might need to get the light on that. Mm. Right, slip my gloves on. Bend over. Not really. Right, we are looking. So, yeah, so I've cleaned up the bores. So let's have a look and we'll have a look at the heads. So it's all looking quite clean. All my pistons have come up nice. There's not much of a groove at the top of the of the cylinder there. So the and there's no scoring I can see down the cylinder. That all looks pretty. There's no certainly not like the one in front. So we've got a good engine, but it's the cylinder heads are our problem. Zach hasn't seen these. Well, if you look at these, Zach, see so you've got a crack here. Can you see that crack? Yeah. Now I thought I had three of them cracked. Now this one here, which I thought was okay, I've cleaned it up, and if you look right between there, it looks, it looks, there looks from the exhaust valve, it looks like there's a little crack started. Can you see it at the top there? Can you see that little crack at the top, Zach, across this bridge area here? Yep. Yep. Um, so I think that one's on its way out. So I'm short of a few cylinder heads. I think people have said that about me in the past. Right, so there we go. So I'm now, Got to decide whether I look for cylinder heads or whether we go 200 TDI, 300 TDI route. But then I've got to make up a load of bits and the car's in France. I was hoping for a, an easy swap. Hmm, who knows. Um, right, I think I'll leave that video there. So that's the end of part three to be continued.